It's been three years since we've started the Gears of War franchise. Since then we've gone through many games from Judgment to Tactics, Shadow of Rom 1 and 2, and now here we are at 3. We've done much to get us here. We've gone through many characters and many characters have stayed. We've lost some like the Carmines, Anthony and Ben. We've even lost Ty and even Kim. But we're still here. Marcus, Dom, Baird, and Cole. We played through many characters. Even that one time we played as Rom, I won't lie. Kind of weird in the long run, but I mean, it's been weirder. I won't lie about that. Anyway, we are here still. And we're going to be pushing through until we get to the very end. Three, four, five, Hive Busters and everything after. We're in this together. Looks like we're all Gears fam now. Hello everyone, and welcome to Gears of War 3. Now, I am excited, I'm also dog sitting, so I'm sorry if you hear any dogs in the background. Uh, I'm watching, watching two of them right now to make sure they're okay. Just had to run to the other room quick to get things recorded. They're so happy that I'm over in the other room. Um, but, uh, Gears of War 3, here we are. Uh, it's taken us a lot of time to get here. There's going to be an opening scene that comes on in a few moments, so we'll cover that as we go. But we've made it. Gears of War 3. Uh, now, if you ask me which one is better out of Gears of War 2 or 3, 2 is better, but 3 is my favorite. So this is my favorite Gears of War we're playing. I might have said that about 2, but this is my actual favorite, favorite when it comes to like story and everything. I think I've gone back and forth so many times on which is my favorite, but yes, I love Gears of War 3. It's my favorite. Um, we've already went through everything from... We've gone through Judgment, we've gone through Tactics, we've gone through Shadow of Rom, we've gone through 1, we've gone through 2, we're here. This is like our halfway point. Like, we've made it to the end of the original trilogy, okay? That's, that's a big thing. We did it. We're here. I'm very happy we're here. And, yeah, let's, let's get into it. I mean, I can pull up the opening video once we're in here, too. <coughs> and I want to do the opening video. Um, and the reason I'm bringing it up so much is because 3 is very interesting with how they did it. So 3 is done by... It's and I mentioned at the end of two. If you haven't watched the rest of the Gears of War series, what are you doing? Like, go and watch the rest. It's amazing. Um, but there's been a few things that come up in Gears of War. There we go. I thought it froze for a moment. There's a few things that have come up in Gears of War uh, lore and everything from extended universe stuff like books and comics. And three is very heavily based on that. Like, it picks up like two years. Like two is two years after the original Gears of War. And this is where everything uh, continues. Sorry, I'm just getting this going quick. Uh, yep, here we go. Previous thing, Gears of War. So, a lot of stuff has happened within those two years. A lot of stuff that are in the books. And I'm going to be your guru through it all to tell you everything that's happened. Like, for instance, Stroud. Anya becomes a badass. Anya becomes a bit of a heavy badass. So this what was that? My, yeah, that was my phone. Yes, I forgot to sil silence my phone right now. But yeah, Anya... Anya puts boots to asses pretty heavily in this. Today, the coalition of ordered governments there we go. ceased to exist. Chairman Prescott, he abandoned us some time ago. We can't pretend we're a government any longer. The cog doesn't exist anymore. It all began on E-Day, when the locust emerged and overran us. That's one thing to keep in mind, and that's a big thing to talk about. Incinerating our own cities, killing millions of our own people. But the locust kept coming. The survivors from the hammer strikes, the stranded, didn't want anything to do with a government that sacrificed. Civilians. Major conflict with the stranded and the, the cog during the books. We even had to sacrifice the last human stronghold, Jacinto. We sank the city and finally stopped the locust army. The war was finally over. Oh no, it wasn't. The war was never really truly done. Reduced to refugees, we found a remote island where we could start again. First, they started off at a colder place, a fort, Fort, fort Polulin, I think it's called. Then they went to Vectis. Vectis was their second go-to. Sam's very good at tattoos. Sam's from the book. She's originally introduced. The Lambent, we get introduced in two, but we get a lot of stuff involving the Lambent in the books. Um, also, Leviathan gets in, infected and explodes thanks to Baird. That's referenced later also. Others want to risk going back to the mainland. God 
Hoffman left. Um, he left back over to. Um, I can't remember the name of the fort he's at. A fort from his past. It is Anvil Gate. He's over at Anvil Gate now. Uh, a lot of there's a book dedicated to Anvil Gate. A lot of stuff happens. A lot of stuff goes on. That's why we did the video, so I can give you a quick heads up on that. Yeah, a lot of stuff. So, <clears throat> and I still have that cold. It's still lingering on me. But, yeah, a lot of stuff has happened. A lot. So, we're going to do a new one quick, and we're going to go to... Um, let's do... We're on the right one, right? Yep, standard new. And just a normal difficulty. We're just going to do a normal run through like we always have. But yeah, this is Gears of War 3. Uh, what else do I need to talk about before we really get into it while it loads? Um, like I said, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, the Lambent. This scene is probably a bit reminiscent for some people. Currently, we're in the slab right now. That's actually a book that happens after three and after the book, so that's something that isn't even referenced yet. Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. So I was always under the impression. Not anymore. Things have changed. It's your father. He needs you. Let's go help Adam. But he's gone, Anya. He's dead. No, he's out there. He needs you. Anya, wait. What the hell's going on? <laughs> this isn't how it happened in the first game. As you know, I was there for that. Wait. And I've already got all the collectibles, so we don't need to worry about collectibles for all this. The locust have broken through to his house and called in to sleep. Goodbye. So that happened in the books. This part did not. A lot of stuff happens. What in God's name are you doing here? You're going to get yourselves killed, both of you. Come on, Dad. I've come to get you. And now Don's here. here. I've got to save my research. Do you understand how important it is? Oh, in the books you learn how important the research is. Oh, and look, there's carmines that are here. Ben and Anthony. Dad, Let's do it, guys. Man, that's just a normal cog gear. Let's go, everybody. Okay, everybody find some cover. Spread out along the so as some people have probably realized, um, this might not be real life we're dealing with right now in the Gears of War franchise. Possibly not, seeing as how buildings are being recreated around us. Yeah, as you can see, I don't have a limit on my ammo either, or I don't have grenades. Little bit different. What could this be? There we go. There we go. There we go. Also, Anthony and Ben are here. That's different. Father cared about his research. To be fair, Adam. Adam is a weird story. I tried to save him. Wait, how do I explain Adam Phoenix? So. It did. A lot of things went down the pooper. A lot of things went down the crapper when uh, that situation happened. So it's more talked about in the slab. You get a heads up on what went down. Or for the life sentence. Um, yeah, like Marcus. There's no sugarcoating it. Like, yeah, he did it for his dad, but okay, bye. He did it for his dad, but he. He still did disobey orders and people did die under him. I'm sorry, but there's no sugarcoating. Like, he did. There wasn't, like, some ulterior motive or, or like, hidden meaning. It did happen. Like, he did get court martialed for a very strong reason. Is that going to be the thumbnail photo? Now hear this. Marcus Phoenix and Hazard Watch to CIC immediately. Well, another day. Phoenix, Santiago, and Stratton report to CIC immediately. Here's War 3. I heard you the first time. 
God damn. God damn. I love it. Yep, I know how to... Current objectives. M-I-A, K-I... Oh, I never noticed that. I never looked at it and saw it that way. Like, there's some things in this game you really don't look at and think about. Found. Oh. You don't think... Like, I've never taken the time for some of that. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing this for a reaction. Like, honestly, I've never looked. Like, he's been keeping track of everyone. Either found or dead. And if they're dead, he keeps their tags with him. Oh, my God. And then... Oh, my... Oh, it's so good. It's so good. What's... Do I have a name of books on here? Uh, somebody can't read him that well. Then we have his Lancer. Actually, this one. Yeah, his Lancer he's working on. His own, his own laptop. Embry Star. It's funny because Marcus did not keep his Embry Star. So it's funny it's here. That's not his. See, his Embry Star he put away with Carlos. Unless that's a different star altogether. Hey Phoenix, you looking for Santiago? It's okay. I know where to find him. Can I explore some more shit first? I'm sorry, but three is so detailed. I don't well, that's a I don't know what those are, but okay. I'm sorry, but like it's it's the detail work that they do so well in this. So, um they're on the ship. The I don't even remember the name of the ship. It's not the Embry. But it's they're they're on the ship and the ship is straight up. They're at sea. This is the last remnant of humanity for the cog at least. Damage response team, muster at hangar deck. All personnel, alert state two. Great. Yeah, so they're there. I'll be out of your way in a second. Don't worry, I'm I'm gonna keep looking around. So How's it going, bud? Hey Phoenix. We're back in stock territory. Reckon we'll find any live ones this time? I hope Better not. Hope we don't. Had enough of those things spitting polyps over us on Vectus. They've been awfully quiet lately. Maybe they're gone for good. Yeah, dream on. Never. So, I will say this. Like, I haven't done a lot of it, but I really should make some Lampent videos for, like, gear talks. The Lampent need to be talked about. Oh, Jack. You can probably guess whose room this is. This is this is one of this is Baird's room. This is where Baird's been holed out working on um working on Jack. Yep, you guys are working, so I know where I'm going next. Time to get a hold of my bestie. Come How's on, it going, on. bud? Armor up. I've got crops to take care of. If we don't grow it, we don't eat it, remember? I think the radishes can cope without you for a while. Okay. Let's get this over with. I love Farmer Dom. I love Farmer Dom so much. You ready, Farmer Dom? Deck two, secure all hatches. See safety team. Close up on deck two. Prepare for inbound raid. Actually, I can get the name of the ship the right here. Coming back. The Sovereigns, the SS Sovereign. Supplies. Huh. Maybe Baird forgot his wallet. Oh, Dom. Where are they? Where's his tomatoes? There they are, Dom's Tomatoes. For anyone who doesn't know, um, Gears of War 4, which is the next thing up, Dom's Tomatoes come up. Those tomatoes live on. Oh, he grew... Is he hanging tomatoes? Oh, he's got fish, too. Oh! Oh, I never saw... Oh, I never saw the shrine... I took a picture of him and Marcus to... Oh, that's kick-ass. You know, it's the small things that I've never noticed until you, like, sit back. Every time I play, it's always something new. Every single time. It's a new thing. And this is one of those times. I never saw, like, the picture of him and Mar Marcus together. <laughs> Don't worry. We're fine. We're fine. Everyone's okay. Do your crosswords. Yep. More stocks. So a stock is something of the lambent, just to tell you that. Even when they're empty husks. I'm expecting polyps to spew out of them, you know? It's just 
It feels right just looking around. It just it, it feels better. Like like I don't know. Like the world feels more together. Like we're all survivors and we're all here, and it feels right. Like I'm walking through other people that are battling with me. It feels right. You know, like this is what I enjoy. Like the survival aspect. I will tell you right now, if you ever had to name the most marketable character in all Gears of War, it most definitely was Cole. And now we get introduced to another character. It's been a while since we've seen him. Come on, Jace. Work to do. It's Stock City out there. It's right, Jace. Right, give me a second. Damn. Nearly got it that time. That candy's like 10 years old, man. You're going to puke your guts up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Guys, CIC. Now. So, the last time we saw Jace was over in uh, Shadow of Rom, and guess what? It's been 10 years in game since then. Survival manual. Got him. Folks seem to forget how we ended up like this. Now. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, well, not me. Those damn things are still out there, and I'll be ready for them. Shall we, gents? I got your mints, by the way, Jace. But yeah, it's been a while. Well, actually, last time we saw Jace was actually in Gears of War 2, because he was dropping down too. I believe you were a part of Beta Squad then. So he dropped down with Beta, and he was in too. So this is the third game he's technically in, but the second time we've seen him. This is what he looks like seven years after Shadow of Rom. A uh, lot of stuff with Jason in the comics. A lot of stuff to cover. I would <coughs> I would be um, leaving a lot out. I made a top five or ten, my top five or ten characters from the comics and books. Uh, or comics, I think it just was. And Jace was up there. He's really good in the comics. Oh, the naval omen. <laughs> yeah, spoil a crosswords for the next guy. Nah, let him have his fun. We'll find another. That's what we have scavenging groups for. We'll find another. I oh, that's right, right over. Where is it? Yep, sawed offs are right here. We have the. Where are they? Yep. Oh, we don't have the retros here. How many times you read it? Ten, eleven. This guy is a legend. Hey, Phoenix, you want to borrow this one? A legend. So his wiki page, this character, I don't remember what he's named in the wiki. He has a very long track record. He does a lot of shit. I'm keeping busy. Don't worry. I'm just, I'm just taking the sights in. It's not every day I get to just walk the world of Gears of War. That doesn't happen all the time. I'm just happy to be here. You came between Dom and his radishes, Lieutenant. This better be good. Good? Probably and Anya's become a badass. Shock? Yeah. Guess who's come back from the dead? It's Kim! Surprise if I'm right. Chairman Prescott. I was close. Oh, shit. You mean ex Chairman Prescott? That asshole. He ran out on us 18 months ago. What's he expecting now, red carpet? I'm waiting to find out. Warship Sovereign. Hang on. This is KR-01 requesting permission to land. One passenger, Chairman Prescott. KR-01, this is Sovereign. You are clear to land. Deck team standing by. Wonder where Prescott managed to find a helicopter. He sure as hell didn't leave with one. He Never didn't. Called, he never sent flowers. Oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. I'll get the popcorn. Yeah, so Prescott left. Uh, there's a long story with that one. We're gonna get. I can't really get into it because it's gonna talk about it in a moment. But yeah, Prescott's a thing. Um, he left. He came back. We're dealing with that now, and no one's a big fan of him. Damn, I see guns. Nash, 
And there goes Nash. For anyone who doesn't know, I know these characters very well. The, uh, the, the ROM Tournament of Power has a lot of these characters in it, and Nash right there was one of them. Unidentified variant. As long as they blow up, I'm happy. Attacking. Guys, 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 guys. Alright, well, as you can see, we've got a bit of action up there, so I think this is a good place to call it. I think we got the intro video, we got introduced to everything. I think we're good here. I don't want to, I know there's a lot of walking and exploring, but I'm sorry. This game gives you that opportunity, and I wanted to take it, So, and I did. So, uh, when we come back, we're going to go on up, we're going to continue the journey of Gears of War 3, and I'm just happy to be here. I love Gears of War 3, I'm happy we're doing it. I cannot wait. Uh, thank you all for watching. I want to thank everyone for making this possible. And thank the patrons for making this possible. I love you all to death, and I'm happy we're here. Catch you in the next one. Later!